virtual lab for design of binary distillation column developed by a group of IIT Guwahati faculties and students from the Department of Chemical Engineering. The first step is to log on to vlab.co.in. The second step is to click the link for virtual lab for mass transfer. The third step is to click the link for IIT Guwahati on the extreme left and then click the link for the experiment. For the present case we click the link for design of binary distillation column. This link takes us directly to the online portal. On the online portal the first tab is the theory tab which gives us a general overview behind the experiment. Here we follow the Mikabethile procedure for designing uh, steps of a distillation column. The next step is the procedure. Here details related to queue lines are specified in the chart along with the diagram of the same. Depending on the queue line location, the typical feed conditions are evaluated. Lastly, the basic difference between a design and simulation of a distillation column has been mentioned. The next tab is the experimental calculation tab. This tab gives us a brief description of how the experiment was carried. The initial part we have the diameter calculation tab of how did we calculate the diameter of a refinery process design as well as the column height calculations are discussed in details. Next we have the cost calculation tabs. In this tab we have tried to evaluate the cost depending on the update factor, materials and pressure factor, base cost, module factor. The calculations for the same has been discussed in details with respect to all literatures that are available till date. Next we have the lab view calculation tab which consists of snapshots of the virtual experiment. The first step is to draw the x is equals to y line for the McAvithele method. The second step is to put the inputs for xd and r and finally draw the y line. The third step is to input for x, f and q and finally xb. Depending on that a virtual plate numbers along with the liquid and the vapor compositions will be evaluated. Finally the cost and the column height can be evaluated and the last we have a case study for various parameters. The next tab is the pre-experimental quiz tab where the user gets few questions. All of them are multiple choice. The user has to answer all the questions and press the submit button. The software enables the user whether he is right or wrong. The next tab is the downloads tab. The user has to download the runtime engine for the simulator to run. Then comes the simulator tab. Here are two links. The first link enables the user to do online and the second do it offline. Next we have the post experimental quiz tab which is similar to the pre experimental quiz tab. All the user has to do is enter his choice and press the submit button. The next is the help file which gives us general help of how to run the simulator. Lastly we have a feedback tab uh, where the user uh, can answer all the questions and have an interaction with the developer and let the developer know what was the most toughest portion during the experiment. Finally the user has to go to the simulator tab, run the runtime engine, download the exe file and work on it. So prior to a virtual lab experiment we would go for the real world experiment. This is a snapshot of the virtual lab experiment.